Everybody loves sunshine and 70 degrees. He loves it. You know, he gets more walks, lots of uh, fetch, so no complaints here. Especially when it comes in February. Sure, why not go to Wash Park because it's supposed to get nasty tomorrow. Now that would be everyone except for guys like Brent. They've, they've just been sitting here not doing not doing anything. His fleet of 70 snow plows, 10 front end loaders and more are just sitting around waiting for some action. Yeah, it's, it's very frustrating that we're geared up for snow and you know we're here in Colorado we we get snow. You know the last time we saw any measurable snowfall here in Denver was on this date January 16th at just over two inches. But folks like Brent are hoping that on this date tomorrow the snow plows return to the road. On average, we would have uh, invoiced out between anywhere from 100,000 to 200,000, depending upon the snowfall that came in. So yeah, it hurts us and it hurts everyone that works for us. And Brent added, if this dry spell continues, it could cost several hundred thousand dollars. And those who just do snow removal operations for us, um, of course, each side, they have their families, uh, all that to support and it, it, it greatly affects all of us. So while the plows and Brents are hoping for an extended snow season, even the park goers say it's time for snow. Nice change of pace, but uh, you know, get a little taste of spring here early on. Uh, you know, we're ready for it to come. As long as it doesn't stick around, even if it does. I mean, it should kind of feel like winter in winter time, right? Drew Engelbart, Fox 31.